We're going to make a coil built pot and that's made out of clay and if you look in the very inside you can actually see that there are little ridges and those are the coil but uh, this is the basic idea of what we're going to do. Um, I have a cup that I've wrapped a paper towel around so that my clay won't stick to it but it's going to help it uh, stay strong while I use it. So I've taken some clay and I've created kind of a rough little circle. It's about as thick as my finger and I'm going to put it here, kind of press it down. Then I'm going to take one of these pieces here and just kind of gently pinch it out until it's about as thick as my finger. You don't want to make it really thick. And then you're going to pull it around like this. Take your finger, take one hand and put it inside and take this finger and put it, push this down. You want to push these down so that it becomes a part of the piece below. Now I'm going to turn this. This is why you don't want to press down too hard because you don't want it to stick to your table. I'm going to take another coil. Now this one has been pre-cut but it's pretty thick so I'm going to have to pinch this and roll it a little bit. You don't want to make it real skinny and the longer you touch it the more it dries out and drying out is not what we want right now. We want this clay to stay wet. So I'm going to just kind of overlap a little bit. I'm going to wrap this around. It's going to come up above this piece here just like this and then I'm going to just take my hand and start to press these pieces on here using that cup as my guide okay all right and now we're starting to get some all right, I'm going to take another coil, flatten that out, and start to turn it as we go. All right. And you can see that I'm getting this nice pot here. Probably do one last coil and then we'll be done. Just kind of squish this out here. Alright, I need one last little piece. I'm just going to break one off and use that here. Sticking my hand in, press the thumbs down like this. And now we have our pot. We're going to set it aside to dry and then we can add some decorations later. You can also take your finger and just kind of be smoothing this out so that you don't have a lot of these lumps. Once again, the more you touch it, the more it dries out though. So if you touch it a lot, then it will begin to crack, which we don't want to have happen. So the best thing to do is to let this sit for until the next art class and we can actually do some smoothing during the next class.